Hey there, my name is Mike, and this is a book that'll teach you physics from scratch. This is the famous, or rather infamous, physics book by Cutnell and Johnson. This book was famously used in most American high schools, so there are thousands of copies available. I picked this up from a Goodwill for, uh, the tag's not on here, yeah, $4.99, and this is a nice, meaty textbook. Now, here's what's really cool about a book like this. This book, Physics by Cutnell and Johnson, is not made to be like a dedicated extreme physics book. And that means there's no calculus involved. In fact, a lot of people use this book for their college physics course, which is a course that's basically physics without the calculus. It's physics for people that maybe are going to go into biology or pre-med and should have some idea of what it is, but it isn't a super important thing to have. So what that means is that everything is written in here for someone who maybe doesn't quite enjoy the physics of it. And what I mean by that is we've all met the person who they don't really care for physics. And when you ask them how their physics course is going in school or something, or you say, oh, hey, I'm interested in physics, the reaction is, oh, my God, that's horrible. Why would you do that to yourself? And those people got a textbook like this. This textbook was written for them, which means if you don't understand physics that well, this is an amazing place to start. And if you do understand physics, or rather you like physics, but you're not quite there yet to get the calculus down, this is a phenomenal book to use as a second resource or as a primary resource to teach yourself physics. We spend all this time about the conversion of units, how important they are, how we can define quantities, and why it's important. Then we can talk about some vectors in this book, as you can see here. We give some examples of acceleration. Um, we move on to, what's this, kinematics in two dimensions. And uh, I don't think they get into three dimensions here, which is fine. So this is stuff like projectile motion. This is actually very, very basic rocketry that you could do. You could model a falling projectile, which would be a rocket once its booster has finished and the rocket is no longer firing. So you can do some pretty cool physics just with this stuff. And I think that's really, really neat. Um, like I said, this book is stupid cheap, um, and there are a ridiculous amount of example problems in this book. So when I was first learning physics, um, the way my university did it was there was three physics courses. There was a mechanics course, there was a rotations, oscillations, and waves course, and then there was a electricity and magnetism course. This physics textbook continued to carry me through the first two out of those three courses. Those were full physics with calculus courses, physics for physics majors. This book was still helpful, so I guarantee it'll be helpful for you. And the cool part is, it's got this really neat glossary in the back. Most books do, but this one is really detailed, and there's enough content in here that it's really easy to just find one thing you're interested. Let's say I want to learn about something cool like the grand unification theory, grand unified theory, unified field theory. That's $9.95. Let's go there. He's way back here. Check that out. Nine ninety-five, And we can very briefly, it looks like, on the second to last page, learn a little bit about the standard model. So the book doesn't have a lot of modern physics. When, when you see a, a title like this that just says physics, let me tell you what you're in for. You are in for classical physics, which means everything more or less pre-Einstein. So you're going to talk about mechanics, Things like Newton's laws, which are fundamental to everything. I am a third-year mechanical engineer, and Newton's laws come up constantly. So they're good to know. We then move on to something called oscillations and waves, which are really fun. And uh, if you're someone who enjoys the study of, or enjoys really cool pictures and neat things, um, oscillations and waves will have you kind of covered for that. There's some really pretty problems here with the way wave motion works in what's called a sinusoid curve, and you can use it for all kinds of things. And it actually forms the foundation for quantum mechanics. So it's useful information, and it's really fun. There's a lot of diagrams in here, as you can see. The concept and calculations page, I cannot recommend it enough. These are super useful with the examples. They're very clear, and they're easy. So you can pick up a book like this, and here's the key. When you start out learning physics, you need to do physics. And a lot of times, you'll end up with problem sets that are frankly just a little bit too 
high level for you. You need to start somewhere easy. And this book has a lot of softballs that'll get you excited about physics because you can read an example like this and it says in the flashlight in figure 2.7, the current is 4 amps, or excuse me, 400 milliamps, the voltage is 3 volts, find the power delivered to the bulb. And you can do that really quickly. Okay, that'd be, uh, what, 1.2 watts. And there he is. So there's softball questions that are useful to know. And that's the cool part. You can do this now, get a, uh, a solidification, you know, this feeling of confidence in physics. And when you are confident that you are competent, you can move on to more advanced physics textbooks, but you'll have this background to fall back on. Um, I don't really use this book too much anymore, but it served me for pretty much my entire freshman, sophomore, uh, and, and then barely my junior year of, of education as a STEM major, um, with a, as an engineer with a minor in physics. So this book is cool, and I recommend you pick it up if you can. What I'm going to start doing here, if I can hold myself to the discipline of it, is I'm going to start doing a Teach Yourself Physics from Scratch series. And we're going to go over some of the example problems in this book. We're going to break everything down and maybe do like 10-minute little mini lectures, and we can teach ourselves physics together. I think that'll be the plan. Or rather, I'll teach it to you, and, and then you can be double taught by the book, and by the end of it, you'll come out double smart, hopefully. So that's the idea. Um, I do recommend this textbook. You might even be able to find PDFs of it online. So take a look, and uh, if you have any questions, comments, things you want to learn, leave them in the comments below, and uh, like and subscribe if you find this interesting. I will be posting more and more videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.